Hey there everybody, here is my final reveal build of the 1940s Willie, Willie's um, Gasser, Coca-Cola Gasser by AMT. So, this kit, put it bluntly, it's not great. So the box here has a real nice box art to it. I think it attracts a lot of us. It's beautiful box art, nothing written on it. Just a nice Coca-Cola Gasser pickup truck. Looks pretty sharp, nothing like a Coke. On the side here, it says it's a 40 wheelies pickup truck. Authentic scale model. It's got the blown injector drag motor. Blown and injected drag motor, my bad. Narrow front tire, vintage mags. Pad printed red line drag slicks. So the red one on the back here, it shows the a white version, which is kind of cool. And then the decal sheet with all the real nice Coca-Cola logos to use however you like. So, I did not have any build uh, updates on this kit. I kind of built it, uh, I guess, quietly from you guys. But either way, I had a, um, a stash ad on it about a month ago or so, and a couple of you guys had warned me that this truck has fitment issues on it. And you guys weren't joking. So, if you have this kit, I recommend you don't build it. If you already built it, then you know the pain of building this kit. So let me show you what I got of the AMT 1940s Willy, 1940 Willys Gasser pickup truck. Da, 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 da. So, let me show you what we got going here. I did a, I did it in a nice red with uh, black running boards. Uh, black top on the the, 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 the the bed part. Got the engine coming out. Got used uh, the Coke decals to my likings. Again, nothing like a Coke. Because I do love a good Coca-Cola. And the cab, which is just, you know, nice and red. And the engine. It's an AMT engine, so it's not really a lot to look at. Here is the front end of it. My plan was to kind of do it like a fiberglass hood, which are usually nice and black. So I do not have it on the truck, and I will show you why here in a second. So let's look at a little closer. So here's the engine. It is a very, not very well detailed uh, AMT, typical 1960s kit engine. Very hard to try to keep the... Uh, the headers on they kept the wanting to fall off uh didn't really want to stay on the, uh, the chassis i had to put some weight on it to keep it down in there the suspension actually went together really well here if i can flip this over here for a second the chassis pretty straightforward it's a number of parts but it went together really well the back is uh um the metal axle you know so it's pretty decent I did not paint underneath the uh, the uh, the truck cab there. The front wheels I had to use a lot of super glue on it just to kind of hold them on because they did not want to hold on. So the truck bed is just uh, well, the color is just um, to me. I think it's bright red. Um, finishing up some uh, colors there. It's so it's a to me a color. So it's just red. I used the uh, dupe color. Uh, flat black on um, the runners in the inside and the the cover. It is also duplicolor flat black that I used on the um, the hood piece here. I think it is a great color and um, works well for like a fiberglass hood. When I was doing research on the Willys truck uh, gassers, I noticed a lot of them had a uh, like either a primer hood or a, a, a fiberglass hood unpainted so that was the th thing I kind of wanted to do here um, I wanted to use the coke decals just because they were cool so I guess it's almost box stock but not really uh, the interior is very let me get my flashlight not very highly detailed uh, I just did it a red and white uh, that is the front windshield and that's sitting on the seat there uh, it comes with two sets of windows. You have the clear, and then you have a, uh, a tinted red one. I use a red tinted one for the back. 
So the seats are uh, red and white. The door panels are kind of a white with red. Yeah, that one shows it pretty well. Dashboard. I just did white with the uh, black gauges. Now there is a decal for the uh, 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 dashboard, the wood grain dashboard. I did not use it, obviously. The front windshield is sitting on the seat here because when I was trying to mess with the cab, getting the cab onto the, the body, it kind of fell in and I can't get it out and there's no way to glue it. So that just kind of goes right through. So you're probably looking at it going, it doesn't seem to look right. You're absolutely right. The back bed, the way I can figure out how to get it on best, is leaning backwards. You can see how it's kind of pushed downward in the back. The back bar here, uh, kept wanting to fall off. A lot of super glue added to that. The cab, there's no place to put the cab. There's no, it has these two little holes for the mounting that goes underneath around the, um, around the drive shaft, but it doesn't sit in there right. So there's no marking points to put. So there's a good view of the engine here, but there's no points on the, the chassis to actually glue it on or whatever. So there's the engine. I was starting to need the engine there. So it just kind of rests in there. And it kind of leans forward when it rests. The firewall, I couldn't figure out how it goes in there, so that's a mess. It's actually falling out compared to the last time I looked at it. That, that is a complete mess. I, that is not supposed to look like that. So it sits in there all like that. And then when you put the hood on, okay, first of all, the hood, it's supposed to have these uh, glue pieces over these uh, these inserts here. And good luck trying to get those on. And then they go onto these little pegs right on the side here that you can't even see on camera. So when you put the hood on, it doesn't fit anywhere. As you can see, it doesn't even come close to fitting with that, not close to the sides. I mean, what a disaster. What a disaster. I did the red lights on the, um, for the, for the headlights just because I thought it looked cool with the car. But, you can see, horrible. Absolutely horrible. So, I'm going to display it with it off. Now, there's supposed to be the blower on the top, not the, um, the air intake on the top there. And uh, I um, completely lost it. I have no idea where it went. So whenever I build another AMT kit that has the, um, the blower motor, I'm going to take the top and uh, just put it on there. No biggie. So this kit, like I said, is horrible. Nothing but problems. Fitment issues all the way around. So... I'm going to display it with the uh, the hood off, and I came up with the idea, I have it on order, so I don't have it right now, that the kit will be on um, one of those die cast trailers. So it'll be like it's going to the track or whatever, so I can have the car, the truck, on the trailer, and the hood off to the side, and that's the way it'll be. So I think that'd be kind of a cool uh, display. And plus, you know, I have plenty of uh, little toolboxes from other kits and whatnot, and um, I think it'll be a decent display. I'm not going to say it's going to be great because this kit was not great. So for those of you who built this kit, I'm sorry. For those of you who haven't built it, just just don't. That's all I can recommend, unless you want to use it for parts or something. It, it, this kit just doesn't go together at all. So. That is my build uh, final for the 1940s, 1940s, 1940 uh, Willys gasser, Coca-Cola gasser. So when I get the trailer, I'll show you some pictures of it on the trailer. But for right now, this is what we got. Everybody, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you watching. Appreciate your comments and thumbs up. If you are not one of my subscribers, Please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And um, I'll catch you guys around for the next builds.